सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लेट्स नो एवरी थिंग एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन टू गेट एवरी लेटेस्ट न्यू अपडेट्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सुजय वेलकम टू माय चैनल नेशनल एवरीथिंग फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल नो दैट रिसेंटली आवर चंद्रयान थ्री हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली लैंडेड ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द मून वी हैव क्रिएटेड हिस्ट्री इन द वर्ल्ड आफ्टर रीचिंग एट द साउथ पोल रीजन ऑफ द मून एंड टुडे दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स आई कैन से दैट आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू डोंट हैव टू सी अदर वीडियोज ऑन दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव गिवन ऑल क्वेश्चन आंसर विच आर रिलेटेड टू द चंद्रयान थ्री सो डोंट गो एनी वेयर जस्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड देन विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम Let's start. First question: When was the mission Chandrayaan three launched? Right answer option B: fourteen July two thousand and twenty-three. Chandrayaan three is India's third moon mission. Its main aim was to send a rover to the south pole of moon, and it has been succeeded. And for your kind information, mission Chandrayaan one was launched on twenty second October in two thousand and eight, and it was successful. In this first mission to the moon, we found evidence of water molecules on the moon. Chandrayaan two mission was launched on twenty second July in two thousand and nineteen, and it was failed to touch the surface of the moon. It was crashed two point one kilometers away from the surface of the moon. It took total forty eight days to reach near the moon surface. friends i am telling you don't go anywhere this video will be very important for all of you next question question number 2 mission chandrayaan 3 has been launched from where right answer will be option a satish dhawan space center satish dhawan space center is located in sri harikota andhra pradesh and friends like chandrayaan 3 both chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 missions were launched from satish dhawan space center Question number three: With which rocket was Chandrayaan three launched? Right answer option C: LVM three. Full form of LVM three is Launch Vehicle Mark three. And friends, remember it: LVM three rocket is also called LVM three M four. And for your more information, old name of LVM three was GSLV MK three or Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle Mark three. And for your kind information, Chandrayaan one was launched with PSLV XL rocket and Chandrayaan 2 was launched with GSLV MK3 rocket. Got it, friends? Next question. Question number four: When Chandrayaan 3 has landed on the surface of the moon? Right answer option B: 23rd August 2023. Chandrayaan 3 was launched on 14 July in 2023, and it has landed on the surface of the moon on 23rd August in 2023 on Wednesday around. 6:4 pm Question number 5 How many days Chandrayaan 3 takes to reach the moon Right answer option A 40 days Question number 6 Who has launched the mission Chandrayaan 3 Right answer option B ISRO Now I will tell you some important points of ISRO Full form of ISRO is Indian Space Research Organization It was established or founded on 15th August in 1969. Its headquarters are located in Bengaluru, in the state of Karnataka. Current chairman of ISRO is A. Somnath, and first chairman was Bikram Sarabhai, who was also the founder of ISRO. I hope all the points have been clear to you. Then let's go to the next question. Question number seven: Where is Chandrayaan three to land? Right answer option D: On the South Pole region of the Moon. And friends, remember. South polar region of the moon is known as the dark side of the moon because no sunlight falls on this side of the moon. South pole of the moon cannot be visible from the earth. It is the most dangerous side of the moon. The normal temperature of this side of the moon is minus 230 degrees Celsius. Sometimes its temperature drops to minus 243 degrees Celsius. Is that clear, friends? Next question. Question number eight. Friends, it's a very, very, very important and trending question. Which country first reach at the south pole of the moon? I hope you all know the right answer of this question. The right answer will be option A, India. Yes, friends. After the successful landing of Chandrayaan three on the south pole of the moon, India has become the first country in the world who reach at the south pole region of the moon. We have created history in the world because till now no country has been able to go to the south pole region of the moon, but our country India has achieved it. So it's a very proud moment for all of us. We have to cherish this moment and thanks to all the scientists who work day and night to make it a success. 
and once again congratulations to all of them who are associated with this project as well as to all Indians. Question number 9. After reaching on the surface of the moon, India occupies what place on earth? Right answer will be option D, fourth. India is the fourth country in the world who reach at the surface of the moon after America, Russia and China. Friends, I am telling you one more time, India is the first country in the world who reach at the South Pole region of the moon and is the fourth country in the world who reach at the surface of the moon. Remember it. Next question. Question number 10, it's a very important question. What is the name of the lander of mission Chandrayaan 3? The right answer of this question is option A, Vikram. And friends, don't forget to remember it, Vikram lander named after ISRO founder Vikram Sarabhai. Mission Chandrayaan 2's lander was also named Vikram. Question number 11, what is the name of the robot of mission Chandrayaan 3? Right answer option B, Pragyan. Mission Chandrayaan 2's rover was also named Pragyan. Six wheels were installed in Pragyan rover in Chandrayaan 2 mission. Question number 12. How many modules are there in Chandrayaan 3? Right answer, 3. And these three modules are propulsion module, lander module and rover. Propulsion module. The first part of the vehicle going on a space mission is called the propulsion module. It gives power to any spaceship for flying. 2. Lander module. This is the second and most important part of Chandrayaan 3. It will be landed on the moon and it is responsible for getting the rover to the surface of the moon properly. Rover. This is the third part of Chandrayaan 3. The rover which will land on the surface of the moon through the lander and then collect information and send it to the earth. Got it friends? Next question. Question number 13. Mission Chandrayaan 3, India's which mission to the moon? Right answer option C, third. First moon mission was held on 22nd October in 2008. Second moon mission was held on 22nd July in 2019. And third moon mission was held on 14 July 2023. Question number 14. What is the theme of mission Chandrayaan 3? Right answer option A, science of the moon. Question number 15. Which one of the following is not there in Chandrayaan 3? A lander, B rover, C orbiter, D none of this. Right answer will be option C, orbiter. Chandrayaan 2 had lander, rover and orbiter. But Chandrayaan 3 has only lander and rover, no orbiter. Yes friends, orbiter has not been made for Chandrayaan 3. Because Chandrayaan 2's orbiter is already present in the orbit. It will be used when needed in Chandrayaan 3. Question number 16. What is the name of main rocket engine for Chandrayaan 3? Right answer will be option B. CE-20 cryogenic engine. Next question. Question number 17. How many throttle level engines are there in the lander of Chandrayaan 3? Right answer. 4. Question number 18. It's a very important question. Who was the chairman of ISRO during Chandrayaan 3? Right answer will be option D. S. Somnath. Yes, friends. Dr. S. Somnath was the chairman of ISRO during Chandrayaan 3. And he is still the current chairman of ISRO. And for your more information, Madhavan Nair was the chairman of ISRO during Chandrayaan 1. And Sivan Kailasha Vadibu, also known as K. Sivan, was the chairman of ISRO during Chandrayaan 2. He became the chairman of Indian Space Research Organization on 10 January in 2018. Question number 19. Who was the project director of Chandrayaan 3 mission? Right answer option A. P. Veera Muthubel. Project director of Chandrayaan 1 mission was Mail Swami Annadurai. And project director of Chandrayaan 2 mission was M. Vanita. Question number 20. Who has led the Chandrayaan 3 mission? Right answer option A. Ritu Karidal. Ritu Karidal Srivastav joined ISRO in 2007. She was in charge of Chandrayaan 3. Ritu Karidal was a deputy operation director to India's Mars orbital mission, Mangalyan. She belongs from Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. 
वॉट वॉज द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ लॉन्चिंग चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन क्रोर सेवेंटी फाइव मिलियन यूएस डॉलर एंड द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ लॉन्चिंग चंद्रयान वन मिशन वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी सिक्स क्रोर चंद्रयान टू वॉज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी एट क्रोर एंड चंद्रयान थ्री सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन क्रोर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू वॉट इज द टोटल वेट ऑफ एल वी एम थ्री रॉकेट यूज इन चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड के जी प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल ट्वेंटी वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट के जी लैंडर मॉड्यूल विक्रम सेवेंटीन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स के जी रोबर मॉड्यूल प्रज्ञान ट्वेंटी सिक्स के जी टोटल थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड के जी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री हु विल मेक अ सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द मून इन चंद्रयान थ्री राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी विक्रम लैंडर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर एट द टाइम ऑफ द लॉन्च ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज ऑन अ विजिट टू विच कंट्री आई थिंक यू नो द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन डी साउथ अफ्रीका क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट आर द थ्री मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन शेड बाई इजरो राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दी अब यस फ्रेंड्स द थ्री मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन सेट बाई इजरो or to demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface to demonstrate rover roving on the moon and third to conduct in situ scientific experiments question number 26 who is known as the moon man of india right answer option c mail swami annadurai next question question number 27 who is known as the rocket man of india राइट आंसर ऑप्शन डी के सीवन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट हु इज नोन एज द रॉकेट वोमेन ऑफ इंडिया राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी रितु करीदल क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन व्हेन डिड इंडिया लॉन्च इट्स फर्स्ट रॉकेट राइट आंसर ऑप्शन सी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नवंबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री इंडिया लॉन्च इट्स फर्स्ट रॉकेट फ्रॉम थुम्बा तिरुवनंतपुरम केरला नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अंडर हुज लीडरशिप द आर्टेमिस अग्रीमेंट वॉज लॉन्च विद द एम ऑफ सेंडिंग ह्यूमन बैक अगेन टू द मून बाय 2025। राइट आंसर ऑप्शन बी यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स द आर्टेमिस अग्रीमेंट और द आर्टेमिस पैक्ट और द आर्टेमिस अकोर्ड इज द स्पेस कोलाबोरेशन बिटवीन इंडिया एंड यूएस विच इज लेड बाय द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका and its main goal is to send humans back to the moon by 2025 india has signed the artemis accords in 2020 before the chandrayaan 3 launch question number 31 which instrument has been used in chandrayaan 3 around the lander site to obtain the basic structure right answer will be option c both of the above yes friends both alpha particle x ray spectrometer apxs and laser induced breakdown spectroscopy libs are used around the bikram lander site to obtain the basic structure question number 32 which instrument is used to measure earthquake activity around the landing site in chandrayaan 3 right answer option a ilsa full form instrument for lunar seismic activity next question question number 33 Which device is installed in the lander payload to measure thermal conductivity and temperature in Chandrayaan three? Right answer option B, chest. Full form, Chandra surface thermophysical experiment. Question number thirty four. Which instrument is fitted in the propulsion module to study the Earth's spectral emission and polar metric measurements from the Moon's orbit? Right answer option B, shape. Full form. spectro polarimetry of habitable planet earth question number 35 which instrument is used to estimate the plasma density and its variations in chandrayaan 3 right answer option c lp langmuir probe friends all these are chandrayaan 3 related question answer now i will give you all moon related question answer which side of the moon we cannot see or which side is known as the dark side of the moon 
right answer option b south pole because no sunlight falls on the south pole of the moon question number 2 one day in moon is equal to how many days of the earth right answer will be option d 27 days yes friends a day on the moon is equal to 27 earth days question number 3 moon is the satellite of earth question number 4 what is the study of moon called right answer option d selenology question number 5 it's a very important distance of moon from the earth is 384400 kilometers next question question number 6 moonlight reaches earth in 1.3 seconds question number 7 what is the diameter of the moon right answer option a 3475 kilometers question number 8 how much is the gravity of the moon compared to the earth right answer option b 1/6 question number 9 what percentage of the moon surface can we see right answer will be option c 59% question number 10 it's a very important which country sent the first man to the moon right answer option a america Yes friends the United States of America first sent man to the moon on 21st July in 1969 by Apollo 11 Next question Question number 11 who was the first person to step foot on the moon it's also very important Right answer of this question is option A Neil Armstrong And friends remember Edwin Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were the companions of Neil Armstrong to this moon journey question number 12 and this is my last and final question of moon related gk which country first sent spacecraft on the surface of the moon right answer option d soviet union the soviet union russia sent the first spacecraft to the surface of the moon in 1966 by luna 2 So friends if you think that in this video i have answered all the questions about chandrayaan 3 with full explanation if you can see my hard work in this video then please 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 like this video and share it with your friends and family and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it thank you so much friends for giving your priceless time thank you thank you so much